I'm Jason Pomeroy, an eco-architect, academic and urban planner, and I'm passionate about cities. I'm here to explore the future of mobility at BSD City. The automobile was a remarkable disruptor of the way in which we conceived, planned and eventually moved through cities. Many a road has been adapted to cater for these symbols of progress and status. While synonymous with cities, they have also caused damage to our urban and natural habitats. And yet they remain a convenience that many are not willing to give up. So what place has the automobile in the future of mobility? You know, it's not hard to be seduced by the sultry lines of this car, but you've got to kind of ask yourself the question, how sustainable are they? Hi, excellent. Very pleased to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. Tell me, how sustainable are these cars really? Let me show you. Ah, uh, so I'm guessing it's electric. Yeah, it is. Okay, so tell me a bit about this electric car. Well, the BMW i3s is a new vehicle that uses full electric motors okay. without any engine. So it's a completely electric it's car? It's a completely electric car. It's lean, clean and green? It's very clean, it's very eco-friendly because other than that, the, the interior materials that we use, it's 80% eco-friendly. That's amazing, that's amazing. Yeah. So do you think that electric cars are the future? It is the future. Sure, cars can be energy efficient, but they still cause congestion, meaning that you need to manage the traffic. At BSD City, big data is already used to measure and monitor vehicular traffic. From digital centers maintaining flow, to a multimodal green transportation system called Intermoda that was ingrained in the city's planning from day one. So what is a multimodal transportation system? Well, it brings together multiple modes of transport to make travelling seamless, easy and efficient. Public transportation, whether by boat, train, rail, MRT, even bus provides a useful source of mobility for the masses when they commute from suburbs to the cities. However, times are changing in the wake of climate change, the digital economy and Gen Z. Tell me, why are you taking the bus? Because I can't drive yet. Okay, so you must be the Gen Z <laughs> yes. social media loving generation. Yes, I am. Okay, so uh, tell me, I mean, are you using kind of ride hailing apps and e-scooters and things like that? Yes, I do actually. Why do you do that? Because it's easier and cheaper and to keep my mobility going, yeah, I have to. <laughs> okay, so basically car ownership completely out, yeah. ride hailing apps, e-scooters completely in. Exactly. I can't get that. Millennials and especially Gen Z, born into a digital age, are more inclined to embrace the notion of sharing as opposed to ownership and have a greater conscientiousness and sympathy with the green agenda. So how do you plan for this? Hi, I'm Jason. Hi Jason, I'm Gerald. Very pleased to meet you, Jason. Nice so, I've taken the train. I've taken the bus, I've taken the e-scooter, I had a beautiful walk through the landscape gardens and I really do get that sense of seamless mobility. So what's the secret sauce? It's like this, Jason. Right from the very start, BSD City uh, crafted a comprehensive master plan mm. that integrates districts through mobility. Okay, I get it. So yeah. it's about really good master planning with pedestrian mobility in mind to reduce congestion. But we're living in a digital world and a digital age. Surely there must be more to this. Right now, we make use of big data. And these data are gathered through traffic uh, sensors that are directly connected to our central command center. And this ensures the smooth flow of people within the city. As the next generation turn to such alternative and greener methods of mobility, we may be able to keep the gridlock of our major cities at bay. Society deserves a freedom of movement just as it deserves a freedom of self-expression. So we need to get planning right in terms of how we integrate buses, trains, e-scooters and lush pedestrian sidewalks to keep people moving. Once you keep them moving, we can be reducing congestion and pollution and hopefully enhancing the productivity of the community. That's what I love about what I see at BSD City, and let's hope that this can be an inspiration for other cities in the future. <laughs>